Hello, my friends, David Kessler here, and welcome back to the studio. Uh, today, let's talk a little bit about disposing of acrylic paint water. You know, the dirty stuff you get when you finish an acrylic painting, and I get asked this question all the time, you know, what's the best way to get rid of this paint water? And there's tons of, of videos on YouTube about that. So I'm gonna go over some alternate methods as opposed to the ones that everybody else talks about. So, and, I, and I've got a list of seven things and we're gonna to try to go from the easiest, the things that you're most likely gonna do to the things that are hardest to do or the most expensive to do at the end. You know, a lot of the stuff you see on YouTube, the videos I've seen about this subject, it's things that most people aren't going to do. I mean, they're just not going to take the time to do it. So let's go through some easy things first and gradually get to more expensive, more difficult things. And the ones at the end, you're probably not likely to do. And the first thing is simply to use a drain filter in whatever drain it is that you have. You know, it's a simple thing like this. I mean, I buy these at the dollar store. You know, you get two of them for a dollar. Um, pretty simple stuff. You just put that in your drain and when you pour the water in, this little guy catches the solids. And you know, if you go to any art center to take a, you know, a course, an acrylic painting course or something where they use acrylic paint, you're probably going to see this in the drains there, right? Really simple and easy thing to do. Now, another simple and easy thing to do uh, would be to dilute the water more right put more water in more water and more water you still would need to use one of these right to catch the solids would be helpful to use one of these but put more water in there maybe pour a little bit of the dirty water on in put more clean water in and more clean water in and then just dip out a little bit at a time and put more water in so that you're gradually putting in diluted paint water as opposed to the concentrated stuff the third thing is to just use a coffee filter to uh, filter out the solids. Now you can get them bigger than this. For instance, the commercial type that you use with the bun, you know, commercial uh, coffee maker that the uh, filters are about twice as big. And you can simply put this over a bucket, right over the top of a small container and pour your water through there. And then this is going to filter out the solids. And what's left is just going to be kind of dirty paint water that you could dispose of in any number of ways. Right. Number four, and you might not have heard about this one before, is to use cat litter. And I mean, I know that sounds kind of funny, but it really works well. So I would get like a five gallon bucket, put, you know, six inches or so of cat litter, clumping cat litter probably would be the easiest to use in the bottom. And then when you're finished with your paint water, dump the paint water in there. The litter will clump up and you can scoop that out and put it in the trash can. That way the solids that you're getting and all of that water, all that's not going down your drain and you're just disposing of that in your trash. So that's a really easy way. Costs a little bit of money, right? It's a little bit more expensive than these other two. Uh, and depending on how much you paint, you know, you may end up not spending that much money. If you don't paint a lot, then you might not have to buy a lot of cat litter. But anyway, that's a good idea and an easy way uh, to dispose of it and none of the water is going into the either groundwater or into uh, your utilities at home. Number five, a golden uh, artist colors makes a system called the golden crash system and you can look that up. Uh, they have information on their website about it um, and it's simply a set of filters and some other things that are used to um, you know clean the water uh, so that the water that's left after you put the dirty water in it is clean when it comes out. So it's golden crash system. You can look that up and that's from Golden Artist Colors. Um, the next thing you can do, number six, and it's pretty easy really. If you have a place in your yard where you can dig a pit, I know this sounds weird, but dig a pit and you know, you could have to do some research on the depth and that sort of stuff, but I would say put in there about six inches to eight inches of sand in the bottom of that pit, right? And then fill the remainder of that, say 10 to 12 inches or more of gravel, right? So what you do is you pour the, your dirty water into there and the gravel and the sand gradually filters and cleans the water 
as it gets back into the water table. Um, you could also, if you were interested in doing it, you could put some sort of a screening, a large size screening or a large size filter of some sort on the top of that when you pour the water in to catch all the solids so that the solids don't go out. Up to you, depends on how you want to do it. There again, it takes some effort, it takes some money, it takes some cash, it takes some time to do that, but it's a worthwhile, easy way to do it and an easy way to, to get rid of your paint water and have it naturally filtered through natural products to get back into the groundwater. Now the last thing, number seven, is an expensive proposal, but works well. Now, when I was in the architecture biz, um, anytime, you know, I designed a lot of school, school buildings, and anytime we had an art room in a school, we would put, obviously we would put a drain filter in there, but also underneath we would put a solids separator. So what happens is, you know, you have your trap and then it goes into the solids separator. So everything goes through there and all of the solids and the dirty paint water and all that gets kept encapsulated in a filter in this um, solid separator. And then the clean water comes out and goes uh, into the sewer system. Now it's expensive. I mean, you're talking about hundreds of dollars um, for the product itself and then hundreds more probably to get your plumber out there or get a plumber out there to install it for you. That's the reason I put that on the end on the last thing because it's the most expensive and the one that you're least likely to do. But it is a commercial um, plumbing solids separator that's typically used in all school buildings uh, in the art rooms to filter out the solids for paint. All right, so there you have it. Drain screen, dilute the water, coffee filters, cat litter, the golden crash system, a sand and gravel pit, and then the solids separator. That's seven ways that you may not have thought of, you may not have heard of, and they're easy, right? I listed them from easiest and cheapest to more difficult and more expensive toward the bottom. So I hope this helps you. You know, if you have a system that's better, uh, you've used before, maybe it's something that you haven't read or listened to on another YouTube video, then put that in the comments because uh, I'm sure uh, other folks that look at this video would want to hear those things. If there are, there are other options that are easy for people to do and something that people would want to do with their paint water. So if you have those comments, please put them down below. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Catch me at a workshop or one of my online workshops, and I'll see you on the next video.